the bill just this time. Oh boy. by the lab and see why Doc's so excited. Alright, part on. Thank precious. Please. So what about the broadcast? Would be later on, maybe I'm not entirely sure. I don't know, say, Sharon, but I'm fly or something, free high as well before the commercial ends. I don't know, I don't know what it's called. It was pretty, but it's pretty funny. It is pretty funny. I think it's later on, I'm not entirely sure. Shit. This might be it. Because where else? Mayor Osborne, thanks for calling in. Uh, no. When you were publishing the bugle, you were always fair to me. Tough, sure, but fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now, what's this crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal cowardly city hall bombing that almost claimed my life. It's clear our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no. Though that was a fine idea. No, this would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops overseas. I can't name it until the contracts are signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. Well, that sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. I'd expect nothing less. And let me stress, this is in no way replacing our brave officers of the law. Just augmenting them in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here. So I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. And a fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising me to get some rest now, so if you don't mind. Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared! Did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. I don't care who else is using it. Don't care. <laughs> the way he acts, it's almost the one I'm looking for. Almost. Please don't crash, I swear to God. And I don't know what we're crashing in the first place. I think it's very low, so. (laughs) 
I don't know what's cool. My big Brooklyn. I think it fits a little bit later, I think. Let's see. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Yeah. We've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? Oh, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, I uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of... Changing the world just in a different way. You were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called it the uh, Add Corp to that, and well, it had a catchy name. Oh, where did you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this. Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work, don't worry. It'll work. Uh, but let me let me just fix this. Up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Oh, oh good. Gotta reroute the circuit. There, not good. Way to go here.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? Not judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still. I know. It's okay. Don't worry. I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Let's call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, he'll still be here when you get back. What's that? Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead... We gave people something they've never seen. Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. Is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermatch prison? Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. Aim has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ha! Kidding, of course. Well, I guess it might have been in my little house where I wouldn't know what was going to. I don't know, Tiny. Where did you go when you came back from your walk? <laughs> hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? about something else but yeah we should talk over dinner the offer still stands for me to come over and cook oh really well i like to take risks i'm still out but i'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when i'm home okay talk soon all right dinner at mj's low expectations it'll be hard to screw this one up guess i'll just freelance for a while until she calls Uh, 
Uh, we are sort of there, but we need to get a bit faster here. Yeah. Here, let me shoot you long. Uh, da, 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 da. Um. Keep fighting the good fight, man. Oh, man. It's you. Only been in the Shall I do an asteroid, maybe? Hmm. I want... Stealth... Science... Useful... And... Block return... So much yet. Yeah, why not? Do that. Do I do even more of it? Yeah.
can't let him hurt that victim anymore. Is this the mosh pit? Live by the beatdown, die by the beatdown. Thank you! This is called dinner date. This will be here. You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happening. Shot a rat. Come on, Lee. Yo, Rick. Need to get into that office. What are they building? Is this all for Lee? New samples. Lost the ship's effect in the vessel. Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Run. 
souvenir. What is this? Some kind of military hardware? Office must be to my right. I need to move careful through here. It won't be there. God damn it! Fix it, I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. a disappointment. Building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway. Here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, it just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. <sighs> you're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what we found in this office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Nolan Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? But, but you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. 
Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh, where, where do you want me to, uh... Just, the couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. <laughs> Mail. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's got to be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Because it sure feels like we are. Partners? Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. <laughs>